Hi, what's up, guys? Say hi. Hi. What's your name, boy? Raven. So this is my <laughs> my camera person. So guys, today I've decided to just do like a routine. You know, the things that I normally do at home. So guys, come along with me. It is not all about reaction. You know, there are some people that always think that everything is all about reaction. We have a life out here. So today I want to give you a... Uh, just a bit of what I do every day, not uh, like not every day, but basically something like a daily routine. So guys, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, uh, please like the video. You can join my membership and become part of my family. So just check on the packs that are pocket friendly and you know, just uh, support your girl here. So guys, let's do this. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. How is everyone and how is everything? So guys, you can see there your girl is busy threshing beans. Actually, um, the region that I am at here in Kenya, planting is done twice a year. So this is, uh, this, uh, is from the second harvesting. And guys, it has been raining like crazy. You know, like we, ex we are having a um, rainy December, and I do hope that uh, maybe the rains just can just go away, <laughs> you know, so that we can have some fun and just enjoy the sun. So these beans, we did harvest them, um, was it uh, like a week ago? And then we stored in that mud house that you can see. And the reason is because, like, you have, as I have said, it was raining a lot and we needed just to secure them for some time. And uh, for the last three days, it has not uh, rained. And we decided today to take out the beans and thresh them. And I don't know, guys, how do you do it in your countries? By the way, my friends from the West, tell us, do you, ha do you have such? Have you ever experienced this real life of a village person? I know maybe, maybe, I'm saying maybe, those people that grew up in Jamaica, maybe they have some experience. But I'm not so sure about those people that were born in America and all that. So this is something common that we surely do. And you know, someone may be like, wow, using a stick, oh my God. Just imagine, that is the way we usually do it, so that we can separate the beans from the shaft. And you know, we do that twice. Like uh, this was the first round. And then after that, we, are go uh, we did take back uh, the, the, uh, the thresh, stored it, and we're gonna do a second, you know, a second round of the same, same thing before uh, we, we just let the beans dry. So guys, life, this is how life looks like in Africa. If you have never had such an experience, I do invite you to my village so that you can experience with us the real tingo. <laughs> the real, real tingo. So guys, it is so tedious. Like, um, I decided I'll do a voiceover. And this had to be, you know, towards the end of the day because, man, I was so, so tired. Though it is so refreshing and it's kind of off and you know exercise to me and of course behind the camera is my boy <laughs> so he does a lot of recording to uh he does record me a lot and especially when i'm doing vlogs you know uh, because for this you know you can't use a tripod and all that so behind the camera is my son yeah we can applaud for him well done well done baby so guys it's not it's never easy so you can imagine um after the threshing, sometimes you need to use the leftovers to go and feed the kettle. Uh, we have a, <clears throat> a few, let me uh, refer to a few, a few kettle that we basically need to feed. So sometimes we feed them um, on napier grass, you know, maize stack and other stuff. And you know, these are uh, shafts. <clears throat> from beans and peas, because those ones that I'm holding are from peas. They really, really like them. Look at our beautiful calf. It is around um, three weeks old. It's so, so beautiful. I like it. 
look at it wow so so beautiful you know sometimes uh, there's that uh, f good feel when you just uh, you when you just touch it by the way, i love animals if you've never known it's only that maybe maybe you've never watched my first first vlogs that i used to do in this uh, channel so here your girl is feeding the kettle yeah these ones are very very important so you can see where they are we do um, kind of zero grazing so your girl was tired just look at how i'm posing <laughs> so so tired but the work was not yet over over there uh, just wrecking you know trying to uh, when you look yonder you can see there's a bump that is there so we usually convert that to manure and then take it to our farm there's a blue uh, a blue net that is over there i don't know whether you have seen it we have a kitchen garden and most of the time most of this manure we just take to our kitchen garden to the banana plantation sometimes uh, down there down uh, at the farm we have napier grass sometimes we do take and especially when the napier grass like they are almost uh, when we are done with harvesting the napier grass we do that and it's a good way of uh, you know just um getting your own produce you use what you have in your farm to get uh, your own produce so guys you can see uh, it's not all about reaction sometimes uh, you tire and you just wanna be you and show people the other part of you know of your life so that they got to experience you from a different different perspective so uh, my people tell me have you ever um, experienced such uh-huh have you ever because you know sometimes um we all come from different places and we have different ways of doing uh, issues or matters so um maybe this is something that is new to you and you know there's a person who will say like oh mary why i why don't you have gloves so guys this is how we are used to, you know this is our way of life like seriously that is how we are used to so it was time to prepare uh, just to prepare some some peas and beans for supper i know some of you refer to it as dinner so your girl is over there mm, trying to sort out you know just to sort out and get everything ready because at the end of the day once you are done with uh, you know once you're done with all this you need to prepare a meal for the family and of course all the eyes are on you all the eyes are on you and you need to do the tingle as an african woman so i, I love sometimes such moments because they're refreshing you know they take your mind away from the you know from the normal and you have a different experience so guys keep on watching finally my dear people the day come came to an end by me doing the milking part of the milking actually um we have several cows that are milked and you know sometimes uh, there are those cows that are not friendly i don't know if you have the same experience there are those that are not friendly like this one that i was trying to just um, milk but way it was a tall tall order but anyways guys you can see your girl is a real village girl by the way <laughs> i don't know did you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed you can also join my membership and become part of my beautiful family so typically that is how my day looks like and especially when i'm not working these are some of the activities that i do just to keep myself busy and just to get in touch with my life as a kid in africa you know it reminds me of the days when i was growing up these are some of the activities that we used to do like every day yeah every day including cutting napier grass and all that so this is just a, a sneak peek into what i usually do if you have watched up to this far let me just take a moment and say thank you so much for always supporting my content and i'm so so grateful that you had to experience this kind of village life with me 
what are your thoughts about this what are your recommendations would you love to have such an experience it's such a beautiful one where we will take you to the farm take you to the river get water you know there are so many things by the way that i have not showed you if maybe this is what you would want to see i would um do another one for you maybe at our riverside because it's just down our farm where you got to see people fetching water carrying water you know uphill and all that so this is just a typical african lifestyle and actually a village african lifestyle and it is um it's uh, kind of common in kenya um and that is why i just felt like to share with you and especially my international audience because i know most of you have never experienced this so thank you so much my people one love